I'm John Weber today in Colleton River in Bluffton, South Carolina. I am doing my 2022 update for Colleton River. I have a lot to tell you about Colleton River, what's going on there. There's assessment and, pro and process. You'll love it. Got some good footage also of their clubhouses. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, give a thumbs up and share the video. It helps the channel. So that said, let's go to Colleton River. All right, Colleton River. I'm not gonna do this with my sunglasses because I've gotta be able to see you guys. Uh, Colleton River's been, it started in, I'm gonna say 1995. It has two golf courses. It is widely known, strictly opinions of course, as one of the better luxury clubs in the low country. And it is beautiful, there's no doubt about it. You start when you enter Colleton River by going up a long secluded drive. I think it's like a mile and a half to get back up into the property, which is a peninsula that's surrounded by the Colleton River. As far as property goes, I mean, the actual property itself, it's probably the best in the entire area. You've got about 1400 acres. There's going to be around 700 homes in there. They, as I said, they've got two golf courses, a Pete Dye golf course and a Jack Nicholas golf course. Both are spectacular. That's the name of this video, Colleton River 2022 Spectacular. Because when you actually go look at this, it's just really beautiful with the, uh, the old oaks, the Spanish moss, the tall pines, and of course, luxury homes. I can't say one golf course, golf course is better than the other, they're both spectacular, but there is an assessment in place. And I'll tell you a little bit about that towards the end of the video, I'll tell you all about the assessment. They have beautiful homes on the Colleton River with deep water docks. They have a community dock on the property where you can come take a kayak, go out, kayak around, it's big business around here. They have uh, tennis courts, fitness, pool, assortment of multiple, multiple clubs and organizations within Colleton River. When you buy in Colleton River or any of these other places for that matter, you're plugged in automatically. And Colleton River is no different. Last year, there was a previous developer in Colleton River that owned about a hundred lots in Colleton River and the club decided to buy those lots back from the developer. So they have a lot of inventory of home sites available. Lots of those properties were along the river or marsh. They definitely needed that. So they've got some pretty good inventory in there. Well, the fantastic views, you can put a beautiful home on there. Let's talk about the fees in there. The current one-time fee for Colleton River is $40,000. It's a one-time fee. The annual dues this year, 2022, $23,565 per year. You've got your HOA and your club dues all in that number, uh, which is kind of hand in hand with the area of the, of the luxury clubs. It's very similar. Uh, you've got on the island, got Long Cove, which is a one-time fee of 20,000. So uh, the, the clubs on the mainland are a little bit higher, a little bit newer. So many people consider them to be better, I guess, but uh, that's personal opinion. There is an assessment in place. Now, a few years back, Belfair, just down the road from College and River, uh, decided to upgrade their fitness facility and they voted and there was an assessment of, I believe it was $8,000 per member and they put a magnificent uh, fitness center in Belfair. Well, here we go. Colleton River uh, had an, a, a vote last year, 2021, and the members voted to uh, make several enhancements to the property. It's a one-time assessment of $20,000. You can pay it all at once. You can pay over three years. You can pay over five years. So if you buy a home in Colleton River, you'll have the one-time fee of $40,000, and 
And if you're going to look at a particular house and that homeowner paid that assessment one time fee last year, you don't have to pay it because he did pay it. If he made a payment, then you're responsible for the balance of the payment. So it really depends on which property you buy. Included in the assessment, they are going to take the die clubhouse and just kind of blow out the back there, enhance the incredible views of the die golf course in the Colleton River in the distance, enhance the bar area there. So a renovation of the die club. They're going to take their current fitness center, move it across the street, which is currently in the Nick, Nicholas Club, move it across the street, and they're going to add 9,000 square feet, fitness rooms, weightlifting, aerobics, all that kind of stuff is gonna be in there, which is gonna be fantastic. They're gonna take the existing pro shop where it sits right now and put it where the current fitness center is in the Nick. So they're gonna do that. And it's really gonna be something when it's finished. Uh, a lot of people are talking about how beautiful it's gonna be. That construction is gonna start April, May, 2022, and it probably will be finished in the summer of 2023. I could be wrong, month or two, either way, but those are the months that they're talking about. So many people ask me of the big three, of uh, Berkeley Hall, Belfair, and Colleton River, gee, which one's the best? I get that question all the time. It's such a difficult question to answer because really it all depends on what you're looking for, what you're used to in a private club. But I can tell you Colleton River is one of the finest clubs in the entire area. It is just spectacular. When you take in the beauty of the property itself on this peninsula, the amenities that they have, the golf that they have, it is spectacular. I sold property to a gentleman a few years back and he played all the golf courses of the big three, Berkeley Hall, Belfair, Colleton River. And he said that uh, Berkeley Hall and Belfair were just great golf courses. He really enjoyed them and he's a scratch golfer. But he said Colleton River was just so spectacular with the marshes and the views that it's hard to duplicate that in different areas. So anyway, he bought in Colleton River, but that was just his preference. So I think that's about it for now. I have a lot of different uh, essential guides down below. If you look uh, in this video, I've got an ultimate guide to low country real estate. We've got our new buyer's guide for 2022. We've got last year's market report to show all the different sales in the areas. You can grab one of those guides if you like. I have the John Weber team where I have a group of seasoned professionals to help you when you come down to look at real estate. It doesn't matter the price range. We will act as a buyer's agent for you when you come down and we'll take good care of you. We even have a guide on where to stay. So you might want to contact us on that. Also, Colleton River does have a, I'm going to call it a discovery program. There's different names for all kinds of getaways in the different communities, but you can go experience Colleton River for selected individuals that qualify, spend the night, play golf, meet some members, which is a great way to uh, just see if that's the right club for you. So contact the John Weber team for that. I'm an associate broker with Charter One Realty, hands down the number one leader in real estate in the entire area. So come down and see us, John Weber team, We'll show you Colleton River. We'll find your dream home in Colleton River, hopefully. If not there, someplace else, but come see us.